How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Lives of P. So in the last episode, we made it to the Grand Exhibition, and we have to now proceed through this area and face the boss of this area. Um, so a couple spots here uh, at the beginning. We have more greatsword guys. As well as some new enemies, which we're gonna get a peek at in a second here. So there's some sneaky items hiding behind here. Make sure you do your due diligence and check the corners. That ladder I just looked up at up there is a shortcut for much later when we're about to face the boss. Around here. I think that is everything. So, this is an enemy. It comes to life when you approach that. These guys are kind of funny. Bunch of, bunch of arms with drills and buzz saws. As you can see with the right weapon, they're not too bad. So that was just a little little side area. Uh, you can either do it now or, you know, when you get that shortcut later on. It's completely up to you. So there's another guy over there. A great sword guy. Great sword guy. Goodbye. Great sword man. Where'd you go? Wanted to play so bad. Come on. So there's an item hiding back here. Half moonstone? No. Radiant Ergo. There's a half moonstone. I think it's over here, actually. This is it, I think. Yes. All right, so quite a bit of uh, navigating around this area, including uh, going up on some uh, some rafters. So, in a sense, I was saying in the let's play, this uh, this place almost reminds me of a uh, little little bit of An Orlando in a way. kind of the architecture and uh, navigating on rafters with guys shooting stuff at you. We got these guys. Ah. Okay. So Jesus. Shield guy coming over here. Shield, bro. Let's go. Where you going? Ow. Goodbye. 
guys. I think I mentioned before, careful of those guys. If you get up close, sometimes they, have a, they do a melee attack. That's like a multi-hit. So just be, just be mindful. That little bridge that we pass by will be a shortcut for a little in a little bit. Um, take care of this butterfly out here. Okay, and down here is another one of those uh, guys like we fought in the last episode. I don't know what I want to call these guys. Look like they're in the marching band or something. Alright, so we get a cord, so... In case this guy decides to cause some trouble, we're going to open up the sneak by him here and open up the shortcut right over here, which uh, goes right up to the front gate of uh, Grand Exhibition. So. so we're good. We got that unlocked. Sneak up on him. Try and get a charge attack in. Here we go. This guy's basically the same as the guy we just fought. He may be a little... Oh, God. Maybe a little beefier. Man, watch out for that. That's, that's tough. Weapon gun break, dude. There we go. Uh oh, rage mode. That one came down the little wire. All right, so we're just gonna rest and get our stuff back. He gave us a strength amulet, and, I mean, obviously, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory what that is, so. We're just gonna run past the stuff that we just killed up here. Go back, sir. Thank you. Just waiting for uh, Mr. Shield Man to path a little bit this way so I can run by him. Because when he's over here, it's a little, it's a little difficult to get by him. Going up here now to the rafters. Always a good time, 
fighting enemies on skinny beams. They're not that skinny, but uh, it does get a little dicey. This game, uh, this game takes that to a whole nother level, because uh, wait till you see what's waiting on the rafters. Okay, so fr throwables uh, gonna be your friend here. Gonna have some. If you run over there, gonna have some crossfire from these two guys. Pull Mr. Shield Man over here. I would pull him over here. It's a little difficult though, he may bounce off the railings like I am. Yeah, like that. Just gotta position himself right. So that's about the easiest and safest way to deal with that guy. And you could, you could like bring him over here. So you'd have a wall on one side of you, but I really wouldn't recommend that. It's asking for trouble. So here's don't, Bell. Don't come any closer. Oh. You're not one of them. Are you here to save me? Those grand exhibition jerks are not to be messed with. Especially after they took that drug. Then there are those biological experiments. Oh, how horrid. I can't reveal everything, but suffice it to say that I can escape on my own if you clear the way a bit. Please. Wipe out all those mongrels. Please, wipe out It'll be easier to... Okay. So she is who sent the distress call that Vanini received. All right, so we gotta deal with these guys. If you have more throwables, obviously, it's, uh, like, this guy might be hard to hit because he's kind of behind a railing, but, uh, you can use those, too. It went pretty smooth, actually. think of my second playthrough my first playthrough I don't think I died at all on the rafters here and then my second playthrough I think I died like at least a few times up there I was like what is going on Set abrasive there. And this is 
about Champion Victor. That who that is who the boss is for this area. There's our friend the Mad Clown Puppet. And the French maid looking dude. So these guys are going to hop down. Now you see that guy behind the gate. He's going to hop. He's going to pop through too. So, yep. Right on cue. So I would recommend taking out those greatsword guys as quickly as possible. Before you have a bad time on your hands. Okay, now there's a little there's a little funny trap over here. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm good. Oops, no. He's gonna blow up on you. This guy. Another one. Another Legion caliber. There's nothing in these boxes here. Alright, so heading up here. to get another call from Arlequina. Another fine day in the city of Krog. But I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Ah, oh, if your goal is to study the human condition, there's no better way than my riddle position. You know how it is. It's time for a quiz. Today's riddle might have you over the barrel. Mm -hmm. But get this one wrong and you will be in peril. So, answer correctly. So that Correct. is an egg. You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glower. I'm as happy as a parent. In this city, there are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet's body? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So I'll reward you with a hint. At the Grand Exhibition, you now must behold all ten fingertips of the Woman of Cold. Look close before she escapes your notice. Then I'm done with you. Mostly. Okay. So he gives you a hint. Same thing that he just said. Uh, which is a little cryptic and he doesn't give you the key right away, so... Need to figure that out. Alright, so these guys have like almost like a machine pistol. Nice. Like the way he landed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm compelled to break those. 
So heading down here, this is where you're going to find the key. So if you notice, this statue is pointing over there. That looks suspicious, and then this statue is like backwards. So if you turn this one, opens up and you get the Trinity key. All right, so over here inside the model tram, gonna be a couple more of these guys. Three of them in total, two. Could be Frank. This guy. Get this little ditty. Build sharp pipe. Okay, so there's like a, another little elite enemy over here guarding a chest. And uh, this, this one will kind of do like a scream AoE and cause disruption. So uh, be aware of that. goes. So you gotta try and, like, catch her before she does that. She goes again. There we go. That was pretty clean. Okay. Order of crowd report. And I think this is a Legion plug. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so hopping over here. minute we are going to see firsthand what these experiments on people with the petrification disease do exactly got a lovely little friend up there see him looks like he belongs in WWE so we're gonna run by him Just in case something happens. And we're going to grab the supply box in here. And we're going to kick down the shortcut the ladder that I pointed out at the beginning of the episode. I swear there was an item over here. Yeah, I thought there was like a note or something over here. Maybe it spawns after a... Either I completely missed it or it spawns after a specific point. Alright, so this guy... Kind of beefy, does a lot of jumps and punches and kicks. And he has a grab attack too. You gotta look out for. And he likes to do drop kicks. Is the crap. 
it's pretty telegraphed. Um, that was just bad timing on my part. I misdodged it. This guy's not too bad. There's a, uh, there's another version of him much later in the game that, uh, is particularly nasty. Oh, there's the grab again. You guys will probably do a better job than I will of avoiding that. Goodbye. He gives us a legion caliber. Okay, so there's a sh shot put there. You can actually, I mean, they put that there. You could probably use that on him. We didn't need to. Charge attacks all day. Go back to the hotel. And we got some Legion calipers and Legion plugs to use. We gotta We're pretty much at the boss, so I'm gonna prepare. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty. The very reason. Welcome to Hotel Crop. Okay. This is a supply box. box. I shall open it and add. It. No matter what fate serving her. Welcome to. Okay. So now, access to buy another quartz. Buy another. By uh, Crescent Moonstones, Unlimited, by another Legion Caliber. So, lots of good stuff, as well as um, Dark Moon Moonstones. Those are in limited quantity, but pretty cool, you can still buy them. I'm going to buy the Quartz and the Legion Caliber now. So this is why I save Ergo items. If I can do this stuff. Though I am running a little low. Serving her to so by the courts. And the Legion Caliber. Two quartz, four legion calibers. Probably use the legion calibers here.
do have another Legion plug as well, so we'll get that one. Still got a couple more to get to. So let's fully upgrade the Flamberge, I think. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. We got one arm maxed out and first tier upgrade for the Fulminus. Since we're here, might as well go pick some gold coin fruit. We got two, so let's get another amulet slot. And by doing lower tier ones, that will, uh, I think I mentioned before, that will still push it in the phase four. All right, so we're gonna do perfect guard destruction two. Fatal attack pull cell charge sounds better. All right, so we unlocked phase four. So we get perfect guard causes stiffness. That's probably what we'll go for next. Fable slots. We will go for another fable slot as well before the end of the playthrough. Um, but probably the lower tier one, and then we can add more amulets, which don't think is needed right now. See how the picture is going here. Okay. What? Oh, Bet the kitty. I think we are prepped and ready for the boss, but I think we are going to do that in the next episode. I know my Let's way just around. See how the weapons are doing here. Ah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to use the the acidic spear on Victor, the boss. So we're gonna upgrade this thing as far as we can go. And we'll leave it a plus six. And let's get that to plus seven. Don't really have any more ergo for that upgrade. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. That's it for now, guys. We will continue on in the next one. Take out Victor, so hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you.